Okay, uh, YouTube, uh, just a little video, I guess, update on the 300 inline six that I had rebuilt, that I rebuilt. Um, I added a little thing today, or just the other day, uh, this uh, air oil separator that I built. Uh, three inches, three, three by three square, got a little angle. That I used, that I made the mount to the radiator that uh, made it out of 16 gauge steel probably a little beefier than it should be but a little beefier than it should be but uh, just wanted to kind of mess around with welding welding on that but uh, anyways there it is and uh, basically, it runs from the PVC valve to this one in into the intake. And then it goes out through the PVC line into the carburetor. And the reason for doing this was that uh, it uh, was pulling in. Uh, oil into the carburetor so uh, and then when I pull this off and then inside there would be oil so kind of did a little research and seeing that people were running these to just kind of for that purpose so uh, there it is I'll show you the inside of it here now a little bit more nuts on there than I need but I think but wasn't sure on how well it was going to seal. It feels pretty good. So, get this off. Count with these little hat self locking nuts. They're, uh, it's a little harder to do this with one hand. Um, you do washer, of course, in a self, in a, uh, lock washer. But trying to get those off are kind of a little difficult. This is kind of all in one here. Um, the fittings, I the total probably that I have in this is about $45, which is way more than I wanted to spend. And most of the expense of these, these fittings are crazy. I think at least one of these is $6. One of them is one, $6. It's just it's crazy. So I think next time I try to build another one of these, I think I'd probably just use, you know, five sixteenths or three eighths uh, steel tube. Which if I would have been thinking, that's what I would have done. But you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty on these. On anything that you do, but that's a lesson learned. Um. I can't remember how long I made it. I think it's seven inches. It looks more like seven inches, maybe eight inches tall. Um, now maybe it's six because I know this bracket right here I made was five and a half inches. So yeah, I'm gonna say that's six inches. So let's see how much oil I had to run it for a couple days. Coming around, and don't know. You can probably see a little bit. You can see a little oil dripping out right there, just from that, and no oil. I can see and this, this thing is just crappy. This camera phone. I need. I really need to get a good phone. And uh, you know, little five sixteenths PVC tubing right there. And uh, I don't think you can see in there at all. But there's a little baffle, 316 pole that I bent, a little angle. Um, this is a little angle. Goes down. Not quite all the way to the bottom, maybe inch or two from the bottom. And that's got 316 holes all drilled through there. And I, I can't see it from here, so you probably can't even see that at all. But anyway, it works. You can look down in there. 
the filter media that's uh, oil down there. So it's 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 working, and this is all dry, no oil coming up through there. So it's pulling through. Um, I won't bore you with putting these back on. I'll come back and put those on. I'll show you what I use for the filter media. But again, it's like 316 holes down there. It's bent at a 90 degree angle, about two inches from the bottom. And uh, 16 gauge steel welded. You can kind of see some of my welding right there a little bit. I am not, a, you know, a, I got metal to stick together. I guess you could say that. Um, so. I wouldn't call myself a welder. So um, I'll finish putting those on, but that's that's it. Um, probably my next project that I'm going to do, I'm probably going to try and rebuild build my own valve covers. These valve covers here, I hate them. These things suck. Um, you can get them for like 20 bucks, but they suck. I hate them. I had to knock the baffles out of all of them, just so out of all of it, just so it, it could fit on the head on the cylinder head because it would rub up against the rocker so I had to knock it out and that's one of the reasons why I did the, the air oil separator because this PVC valve is you know you can see the oil just sitting in there because it's just wide open but uh, it, it gets good vacuum I checked it and it, it, it's pulling some vacuum out of there I mean it is it's working um, so valve cover I want to do my own air cleaner and uh, so that will probably these will probably be my next two projects probably the air cleaner because that's going to be a little bit easier to do because uh, you know you got all the little curves and everything in the, in the valve cover which I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do yet so anyway I'll show you the little media that I use on it and uh, it's probably taking me two weeks to build it in between everything so work and whatnot this simple project it took me longer than i needed to and like i said the valve the valve covers or the uh fittings are just stupid expensive this is some of the media that i use it's just like you can buy it off the shelf i got it in harp and uh home depot and uh that's where i was welding and it burned some of it that it inside so, um, let's see. This is all it is, is, uh, just trying to get things focused. It's, uh, final finishing pads. Count to like $2 for it. But, uh, that's it. So, um, there you have it. That's, uh, that's all it is. A um, little update. I'll show you some. Got a couple more minutes left. Hopefully, it won't interfere. Um, kind of decided on a paint scheme. That's, that's the color paint that I'm probably going to go with. I did this back part of the bed. Had a little patch here. I needed to weld some rust right here. Got another side on the other. One on the other side. So, and then I kind of got the exhaust finished a little bit. And it comes out through the bottom here, out through the side, which now that I know how it goes, and I'm going to change it again, but it'll come out through the same side. But, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and let me know, comment on it.